caution, caution, caution. This is green cast is to explain what to do if you want to resize your stencils to do a smaller version of an image. So here I'm back at my butter um, bow and I really want to have like a little bow right here. I have too many stencils here, this is going to get a little confusing, so I'm going to throw these away. Now look what I'm going to do here. I want the bow here, but if I resize this one, i got to size these at the same rate, in the same proportion. So what you can do in Photoshop is if you click on one layer, hold down the shift key, you can select multiple layers. So all three of these are selected. I can then take my move tool and resize them all at the same time. Now I know you can't see them on the main painting, but you can see that they have been resized over here in the layers. They look smaller. And I can replace them because they're all together. You can see them moving at the same to the same location. And now I'm ready to paint. So just so you can see what this does, I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna come down and just have that bottom one selected. Take the magic wand. Click where I sort of think the butter bow is. I could have made it visible, but I, I had a pretty good idea where it was. Come over here and pick a lighter shade of red. Option delete. Whoop. Uh oh, I painted on the layer. Evil, evil. Remember, you got to click on the layer that you want the paint to be on. Option delete. And actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that again because I can even add, in case I mess up, a layer above. Remember, you can use that little post it right there. So option delete, come down to my next, up to my next layer, uh, my next stencil, and I kind of know where the shadows are, so I'm going to deselect, command D, click where I think they are, come up here and do select similar, because they're all black, they'll all get selected, come over here and click on a darker value for those shadow areas, ooh, could not, uh oh, watch the layer, got to be on the right layer, option delete. Now those little highlights are much smaller than they were on the big bow, so this time I am going to hide these, command D, make sure I'm on the highlight layer, select that, select similar, put this back on, find my highlight color, that should do, and option delete. And then I turn this off and turn this back on, I got a bow on top. Now, you know what? It doesn't show up very well. It's camouflaged. So, good decision that I made it on its own layer, because I can come up here and do Image, Adjustments, Lighten and Darken. Where is that? Brightness and Contrast. That would do it. I'll just use Levels and take it up a little bit. Make it a little bit brighter than the background, so it stands out. Hey, hey! Beauty of Layers! Well, I hope that helps you as you move your layers around. Good luck. See you in class. Bye-bye.